Hashtag WWE Elite Squad. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We got something from the good people at Mattel. And we also got some eBay hauls. We're going to get all these open right now. Mattel, if you guys are watching this, thanks again. I really appreciate you guys bringing me on board. This is an exclusive. This is actually not supposed to be released until, I believe, August. It is a GameStop exclusive. Um, it's a WWE. It's Shawn, it was the Shawn Michaels. I believe it's the Shawn Michaels. Yeah, it is. It's the WWE Retro Fest Shawn michaels um right here and they got bubble wrap man they took care of me thank you guys thank you for safely and securing this but you know what you guys know if well if you don't know if you're new to the channel uh just know this that we're you are going to get this out of the uh package we're going to do a full in-depth review this is sick man if you guys do remember we did recently review the macho man retro fest um that one actually you know what here's the thing about these uh whole like this packaging, I cannot tell you enough good things about this. Like, what they're doing with this, like, arcade style. Again, full in-depth review. We're going to get this uh, opened up on the channel. And I got some pretty good ideas for this attire. If you do remember, I think it was Marty. Yeah, it was Marty Janetti, his tag team partner, that also did um, accompany him down the ring with this exact same attire. So, you guys, like I said, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe subscribe button and you guys are about to find out what's going to go down with that michaels now let's get into these ones this one right here um there's a couple of them from a couple of trades i've been doing some trades on instagram as well as some ebay hauls this one i believe this might be an ebay haul i think it is yes it is there's no note usually when it's a trade someone ends up throwing a little note something a little extra saying hero figs thank you for doing this thank you guys for watching thank you for clicking on the channel and enjoying this epic rare figure this one is extremely i think this was elite series actually um it was the early series it was was it Elite Series 11? It's it's a very, very young John Cena. Let me let me just tell you that right now. Um, I've been ordering so many Cenas as of late. <laughs> so hard to keep up with like what series and which ones. I know this was fairly uh, early in, in the John Cena's uh, figure, like when they were releasing the John Cena figures. This is the purple and orange attire. And you can tell right off the get-go that it is an early Cena with uh, like the long style of shorts. Because John Cena, he didn't start doing like the short shorts until like... I, I probably have to say late 2000 on the shirt right there. It says never give up. And you know we won't. You know that if you're, if like I said, if you're new to the channel, you guys know that this is what we're doing, man. We don't give up. We keep going at it every single day. Where is that knife? <laughs> oh, see what I'm saying? All right, so. Um, this one I think will definitely require the knife. I can't just execute a clean open with you see with the with these ones They just they seem to slit out a lot easier, but these ones you kind of have to tear in a little bit This next one. I believe this is the yes is the stone cold This is gonna work perfect for that CM Punk now, you know I know you're saying hero fix did you really just order this figure just for the shirt? No, I actually did want this one in the collection This is from the defining moments line and the shirt that I uh, wanted from this well this uh, okay I would say about 50% reason why i bought this figure is for the shirt um this is gonna go great for that pipe bomb cm punk so it's nice to finally add that and complete that towards the cm punk collection this next one let's find out what this one is um this one i believe might be the trade because i know um I can't remember the name of, and I'm sorry, bro, if, if for some reason I forget the name of the person. I Again, we've been doing so many trade sets of late, it's really hard to keep up. This next one right here, this is The Rock. This is The Rock and his I Bring It shirt. And did he bring it? He brought it every single night, man. Those rock bottoms, those promos, this man was the best at it. Now, the pants right here that you are seeing, these are very similar to like the ones that we see with the Builder figures. Um, I think they use this on Triple H from the low, yeah, from the waist down. This is kind of very reminiscent. So the articulation that you're seeing on there, this is exactly like we saw in that two pack with Triple H. The shirt right here, it is removable. I'll take it off real quick so you can see it. This shirt I actually like um, something about his catchphrases, man. <laughs> well, I think my favorite one was the. What was the name of that pie? Someone, someone drop it in the comment section. It had a certain name for a certain pie back in the day. I believe it was his favorite pie. There's the tattoo design on this one. Man, this head scan is fired too. He's got that signature eyebrow. He's raising it up. He's raising it up for the millions and millions of The Rock's fans. This next one, let's get this one open. This one should be pretty easy. Yeah, this one's smooth, man. That's what I'm saying. Something about these yellow envelopes, they just open up like butter you don't even need the book you don't even uh you don't even spread the knife on this one <laughs> this one okay um 
This is the Nation of Domination. This is off a two pack, and the other figure that came with this was Farouk. Yes, it was Farouk, his tag team partner from the Nation of Domination, dude. This is We Are the Nation of Domination. Nation of Domination. Man, that song, man. Every time that they played that, it got me going for, you know, it was going to be a good match. Any match that The Rock got into the ring with anybody, it didn't matter who it was, The Rock was going to deliver. Not just the people's, not just The Rock bottom, but the people's elbow. Man, I can't believe what that elbow did to people. <laughs> Seriously, like, oh, wait, hold on. This is mock? I did not know that this one was going to be mock. I was so curious, like, what this was, because when I ordered this, oh, this is from Amazon. That's right. I found it on Amazon, and I I found it for actually pretty cheap. I think it was $24. I was trying to look for it on eBay, but they wanted more. I think it was like $35 loose. So having this mock, this is from Elite Series 37. This is sick, man. I always enjoyed, like, John Cena's camel shorts. I thought that he did. I think once he added, like, the camel shorts onto his attires, it just, it was different from all those other jeans, uh, you know, like, shorts that he was doing. So adding the camel to it, plus the red hat, this has a lot, man. We're also getting the dog tags on this. This is a really old oh this is the one with uh this is when seth rollins went on his own and he started doing his own thing when he parted from the shield we also got dean malenko and the miz on the back i don't think that's the actual john cena signature i think that's just, of course it's not <laughs> but that's what they were trying to get you to believe right this next one i think this one is a giant because there was there was this order or this uh lot that i bought and i think there were seven or eight elites for fifty dollars this one might be it um but let's find out let's get all these out it is oh my gosh this is the one this is the one and you know what it's weird because i was checking the tracking on this and it said that it had literally just shipped out here let's move this to the side it literally just shipped out yesterday, and it shows that it wasn't even delivered. So having this, there is so much going in here, you guys. Like, there is a lot going on here, and, I, you know, I'm kind of peeking in here to see what's going on. I'm going to tell you the reason for the purchase. I'm going to tell you right off the get-go the reason for the purchase. Hold on. Um, I don't see the entrance jacket. That might be a problem. All right, hold on. We're doing Seek and Destroy right now. All right, so this is not the reason, but this is uh, an extra. Actually, one of the figures in this slot was actually equivalent just to buying him alone by his by his by by himself. Um, we got another rock figure. It looks like the attire. It's pretty faded. I don't know if that's how. I'm Actually, I'm almost positive that's not how it was supposed to be. Um, it is like a dark gold. I mean, the decal design looks completely, completely faded on this one. So someone must have gotten a lot of use out of that one. Next up, we have... Uh, Chris Jericho and I do believe that the one might be buried underneath all those other ones this is from that defining moments um, I do th I do believe that the belts are in here so we're gonna peek we're gonna find out well we're not gonna peek we're just gonna get them all out um, this next one right here is Stone Cold Steve Austin I think this was a yes it was a Target exclusive this is with the blue short shorts you got the Austin right there we got the 316 on the back right there it's a Stone Cold man this guy was awesome you're probably noticing right off the get go like Hero Fix what's with you and Stone Cold The Rock and John Cena as of late can you blame me now this next one right here um, it looks like this is a custom it might have come off of Jax I don't ever recall seeing this style of vest that's made out of fabric because anything that Mattel was putting out if you look if you do a quick comparison right here, this was just a rubber. This is like fabric, dude. Actually, I'm almost 100% positive. This might have came off an old Jax. Really awesome vest. I like this, man. This is cool. And where is that, man? I, oh, I see him. He's way back there. I, I think, yeah, I see him down there now. Uh, I, I think that's the reason why he buried him. He knew that that was the gem from this slot. And we also got a Mankind. I don't believe he comes with this sock. I'm going to, like I said, we'll go through the accessories because there were some accessories that he had thrown in. Let's Let's get this dumped out so we can find out exactly all the stuff that actually came with it. Um, there he is. Oh, there's two more. Oh, there is two more. That is right. We got the one from the Walmart exclusive, the Chuss Bring It right there. We got the black shirt right there. That is sick, man. This is actually, I, you know what? The uh, from the waist down, this is a uh, Hulk Hogan. This is from that Hulk Hogan, the the one that he had like the street attire. 
the scan right there. We got the nice bald scan. He's smiling. He's like, you're about to get you to your grand prize. <laughs> and this is the grand prize. This one right here that I'm about to show you guys, this was the reason for the purchase. And you'll understand why what, when I said that earlier that this was equivalent to a lot of these. This, this is the, the Defining Moments rock. Yeah, this one you won't find like with these. I mean, you will, but if you find it like with the accessories, they want like $40, $50. I got the whole entire lot. So I, I basically, I considered all these extras as extras, as a little something extra. The shirt right here, I don't know if this is like... This is going to outdo the one that we're going to get here pretty soon, but it's definitely up there. Um, this is when he wore that. What It was actually Mankind. Mankind was part of the, They were celebrating the life of Mankind, so it's cool that Mankind is actually in this slot. Um, so it's a nice gold right there. We're getting some nice... That, I think these are kind of like dress style pants. Or, you know what, actually, I think we've gotten these in the past. These are more like track pants right there. Um, I'll show you the accessories that it did come with. So this, again, this this was the gem. This was the reason for the purchase. Now, we got a couple of shirts. We got the white shirt that I believe came with the Target exclusive. We got another uh, Stone Cold style of entrance jacket or vest. It says bulletproof right there. We got the World Heavyweight title. And I think these glasses might be for the Rock. No, because I think the Rock's glasses had like a gold, uh, like, outline to it. So. So, and, and there's another belt. There's the WWE uh, Championship belt right here. It is a couple of elbows to include to the rack. It looks like he was already dropping elbows to these opponents inside the box. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.